the wolf? I don't know what kind of alternate universe we're in right now, but about to get into it. Uh, started on a PS2. I don't agree. I don't ever agree taking power to PS2, but we're gonna do it anyway. Uh, Are you sure those characters? He said the wolf <laughs> says for Allen. Yes, and that is ETN. ETN has been playing for the four Allen tag for like a while. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, Look. you're not you're not schmixing me, are you? No, 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 no. It's it that that they're is actually schmixing me. So ZTN is okay. Yeah, ZTN All is right, boom. There it is. And Waff is the Palu. Good lord. Um, I was actually speaking to who was I speaking to? But Waff definitely went Palu early in bracket, and so this is definitely a thing he's doing right now. Good choice. Is, is, is this a secret character he was talking about like a while back? No clue. <laughs> I remember he was talking about, yeah, I got a secret character. Is this a secret character, Palu? Like, this, this is the, this is the character you're coveting so much? Like, come on, bro. We're in New York. This is this is nothing new. Um, yeah, right. but it's Ralphie's Palu. Yeah, Ralphie's yeah, Palu. Uh, in the back air more than the average. Um, but right now, but ZTN also with the wolf. Um, I haven't seen much of his wolf. I'm not sure if he's been playing the whole bracket. Or it's like a Palu counter pick. But, um. Yeah, right now, um. Ralphie off to the, you know, the early lead. And ZTN punishing his landing with the forward smash. You know, good call out by, um. By ZTN. Now, ZTN, although, he, you know, he does play Zelda, he is very adept at calling out, uh, people's landing approaches, right? With Zelda, since the character doesn't have the best frame data. You do have to call out a lot of the approaches uh, from your opponent, even though you do have a second character with you. So this is nothing new to ZTN. Right now, Ralphie is uh, pretty much just suppressing him at the ledge, and that could two frame, but didn't get it. Um, yeah, and Ralphie seems you know pretty confident with this battle right now. Okay, landing with the nair. Just he's just shocking all of ZTN's landings with dash attack. ZTN. Is liking to land with buttons, and Pal is not a character that you can land with like with, land with buttons with, because like she will just dash attack your dash attack with her shield, and at the worst it will trade. She will never lose that battle just because of how the shield works. And with that being said, um, Waff takes the second stock with the back air, so you know solid stuff coming out from Waff. Uh, ZTM pushing him to the ledge. We're getting a little bit hasty with that dash attack. Yeah. Although Wolf does have crazy hitboxes, you know, it's, it's the patience of Wolf at the ledge that kind of puts a lot of fear into people. And right now, Waft is staying composed, taking his time, waiting for Z10 to land with the button. Yeah, I'm on him, you know, just turning his back to him. Just trying to whiff punish anything. Watch out to whiff punish anything he does with the back air. Yeah, right now, yeah, Wop's just being patient. You know, he has no reason to press the issue. He has he has a pretty big lead. Even if Z10 has a court, you know, he, he could afford to take a little break up at the ledge. Ooh. Yeah, that was a crazy dash back by Z10. Threatening with the back throw and then still catching him with the dash attack. Ooh, single shot coming out from Z10. Let's see how he gets back to stage. Ooh, and Waff with the Trump back air, and not just the Trump back air. He trumped him and then read the DI and jumped away by ZTN. That was good stuff by Waff. Good reaction. ZTN smiling. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means for everybody. Start the battle. All right, so we're going back to the tried and true of the Zelda. Three, two, one, go! All right, we're going back to PS2. Like I said, I never agree taking Palo to PS2. <laughs> I don't know why people continue to do it, but right now Z10's off to a quick start anyway. So ZTN is just good good at applying pressure with the knight, and it's not just the knight, right? Because if he, if he gets hit while the knight is active, the knight just goes away. So he also does a great job at avoidance. And that 
whiff punish? For, for using the gun too close to Zelda, you're getting punished with the up B? Okay, then that, that, that air was low. Just getting stuffed. Just stuffing that explosive flame. And yeah, that's probably the third up B that he hit while he's hit Waffles right now. So. Yeah, this explosive flame just gets completely whiffed out. Completely snuffed out, excuse me. Wow, quick 25%. Yeah, and ZTN all, all, you know, already looking a lot more comfortable. Even though, on paper, this probably is a worse matchup for Zelda than Wolf. Just the familiarity with, and comfortability with the character is just... You can tell. What? He went for the... He went for the lock. Wow, and usually, uh, you don't really want to do a standard get-up through that whole setup, but... Wolf did it, and he got four there, and... Right now, ZTN is up a solid two stocks. Already looking more comfortable. Yeah, good pace is coming out from Waff. Just waiting, out, when, knowing that ZTN is going to mash, just waiting him out. Yeah, Waff's Waff shot's been on point. And that pivot grab? Excuse me? Yeah, okay, Waff. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Waff is mixing. Okay. Waff is mixing. Okay. Okay, ZTN, get him, on back, get, get him back on stage on there. Getting back aggressively. Putting out a lot of defensive options at the legend. He's just like, you know, I'm not taking it anymore. And the retaliation. The, his forward air accuracy is actually kind of wild. Like, like, I know that sweet spot isn't that big. And he's just like, yeah, whatever. Oh, and that, okay. Okay. Can we talk about that for a second? So, ZTN throwing out throwing out the guard. And then immediately doing the neighbor's love. Thinking that Waf, Waf was going to reflect it back at him. He was already thinking like 10 steps ahead. That's insane. And then up airing him through the platform? Can we? Yo, let's go ZT. Okay. This, this is a great set so far. This, look, this is this is so wild. Like, he was ready. He was, I, yo, I wish Waff put out that reflect. But um, that was actually, you know, good patience from Waff, right? Like, I feel like in any other situation, somebody would have matched that reflect. Like, ah, oh, yeah, mash and reflect. He's like, you know what? I'm waiting that out. So. Good stuff on um, Waff, but better stuff on ZTAN for taking that game, too. And we are about to be joined on the mic by Venya. Am I late to the party? Yeah, oh, uh, right now we're at game three. And, okay, so right now ZTN's playing Robin. So game one, he went Wolf. Okay. Um, Raincoat. Waff, Waff, Waff has been playing Power the whole time. Game one, he went Wolf. Wolf kind of got sauced a little bit. Game two, ZTN went Zelda, and he kind of just... Kind of bodied Waff, but now he's going Robin. Why? So why? Why the? Okay. Like I, I understand game one because Waff had just finished playing a Zelda, so I, I understand that. But then he tried out the Wolf, it didn't work out, and now he went to Robin game three. Not sure what's happening. But um, yeah. Um, what do you think is matchup? I'm, I'm not actually familiar with matchup. I feel like you would be more adept in knowing this so matchup. It's weird because Palu is so oppressive. She always has been. Yeah. But the one thing she can't do is get comfortable with her buttons versus this character. That's the one thing she can't. She can outmaneuver him in every way. She can kind of ignore his wall because she kind of like just throws an ex a teleporting fox upper at you. <laughs> but she can't get crazy with her buttons. Yeah. That's the one thing she can't do. Yeah, and you know, just as you say that, um, Waff getting a little bit reckless and ZTN kind of taking no, a lot of no recovery. Of okay. You know that makes about the ledge of Palu is like kind of cheap, man. That whole dashback thing is like, yeah, wild. Cause she dashes fast and that back throw does kill. At pretty, why not down throw? Decent percent. Okay. Down throw. So why not down throw? But the DIA, that's in there for you. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he's just taking the stage control. All right, it looks like he's slowing things down, which he's right to do. Yeah. I feel like, you know, that, that first stock, he was kind of just flailing around. And flailing around against Palu is not good. No. She you need to know what you want. Very much anti-mash. Okay. All right, I, I, I like the choice to give it a throw on. You don't really want throw on at low percent. Okay, high recovery. Okay, I understand. Got back to neutral and immediately got near. Why is he opting to go past the ledge? 
I think he's just trying to avoid the Paolo mix at the ledge. Yeah, but it's like, come on, dude. She's gonna put you back on the ledge after, for hitting you for going high. Oh, yeah. Okay, up air? Yes. Okay. Okay, Z10 will click 30%. Let's see what he can do when he's getting back there and he's dying. Yep, man. Rafi's just kind of controlling things. Okay, 61 going percent. high. And I, like, and I like the patience of the ledge coming out from ZTN, right? Even though he is just throwing out, it seems like he's just throwing out the arc fire, he's waiting for Waf to mash into him. Right. Yeah, he should have back here. Back here, he would have been dead. Now, th now this could be the turning the turning part of this game because he didn't kill Waf in that situation. Right. Where you definitely could have. But right now, now Paddle's narrowing you. Now you're getting up aired at 43%. That back air is strong. Yep, you could. You, I don't think. Yeah, and a lot of people don't know that you could actually snuff out um, yeah, yeah. Robin's arc fire. In Smash 4, it would it'll, it'll expand and like, actually blow up, and this game it doesn't. Yeah. yeah. He has hit on that jab. Okay, that was right. a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. That's it. Yeah, good now, landing mix up. If, if DCN can get like one no Sferatsu, he just went for it. Yeah, but. Yeah, he so, caught him slipping on that DI. Yeah, and also ZTN, um, across all his characters, right? But he, I think he did this uh, best with the Zelda. He was pressing a lot of buttons coming down, but with the Zelda, the way he was stalling himself, right? Waff really couldn't get a, a good read on him. With the Wolf, he was getting hit like that, hitting, getting hit with the dash, getting hit with the back air. And even with the Robin, he's getting hit with the dash, getting hit with the back air. Right. But um, just like you said, that 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 um, PK fire, I mean, excuse me, the arc fire into back air that he didn't get, he went for an air instead. They look like that was the turning point of the game.